Hi there, Sophia here. Today we've got empties. I've got it all in a box here with all my things that as I've been using it up, I've been putting it in a box. I have several things to show you and I think I'm going to start with one of my favorites and that's the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. This one is the grapefruit scent. It's an absolutely beautiful cream. I've been using other types of creams at night, lotions on my skin, but for going out, this is my go-to. As you see, it's finished. This is a gorgeous body butter. What it does is it gives you the most hydrated looking skin. When I'm about to go out and I'm wearing something sleeveless or I want a beautiful sheen to my skin, I'll put this on. It soaks right in, it's not greasy, it's very moisturizing, it's beautiful. The next cream that I can't live without, I just ordered it, I have now the large one with the pump, is this one. I finished another tube of this. This is the Retinol Overnight Cream by Gold Bond. This really works. I have seen such a big difference in my skin. It takes away crepiness. It does have some retin retinol in it. So I use this at night. I put it all over my arms, legs, um, my chest. I love this. It's instantly really moisturizing. It feeds my skin. It soaks right in. It doesn't feel greasy. Highly recommend this one. This one is an all-time favorite. I have just repurchased another one. My only beef with this is that once you hit a certain point, there's still product left down here and it's impossible to pump it out. So what I do is I just scoop it out. This is a very thick emollient cream. This is what I use in the winter time. And when I'm up north, I've done another video on this, but it bears repeating. If you're gonna buy anything, to nourish your skin in the winter months, or if you're using Retin-A and your skin's getting a little dry and a little you know, flaky, this is a dream. I put this all over and I just push it into my skin. Sometimes I'll even go over that with slugging and I'll add some Vaseline, Aquaphor, or a thin coating of castor oil. And boy, the next morning my skin is so soft, really plumped up. So. This is a high recommendation. I can't live without this one. It does tend to be a little bit oily. That's the only thing, so be aware of that. But I like that because in the evening, that's what I want. I want as much moisture as I can get. And this works for me as a beautiful overnight mask. Another moisturizer that I have loved and it was on sale, I, I'm not sure where, I think it was at Ulta that I got this during a sale. It's the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture it truly is. I love putting this on under when I'm gonna wear foundation and I really want a beautiful look for evening. I'll put this under, let it soak in a little bit, and then I go in with my primer and my foundation. As you see, I'm right down to the last drop. I had never used any Murad product. I use this for special occasions because it does give such a nice glowy finish to the skin. It sinks right in and the foundation and all the other products go over it beautifully. Another moisturizer that I love is this one. This is, I keep buying this as well. This lasts forever, this tube. I put this on most days of the week after I put on my Retin-A cream because it's lightweight. And I remember hearing a dermatologist say, let your Retin-A do all the work. You don't have to have fancy creams at night after you put on your Retin-A because that is the active, that's the thing that's working hard to rejuvenate your skin. So you just need something soothing and moisturizing. And this one is called Ultra Repair Cream. It has the colloidal oatmeal in it, which is very soothing to sensitive skin. And it's lightweight, it's just beautiful. It has no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, and no chemicals or colorants. It's beautiful, I highly recommend this. This lasted me a year. I went through the whole tube in one year. So that shows you how long it lasts and how really worthwhile it is. The next thing is my absolute favorite eye cream. I discovered this last year. I'm in love with it. This lasted me like eight months. This is the Kiehl's under eye cream with avocado. I don't know if you can see, it does have a pale green cast to it. When I put on my under eye concealer without this, I can see all the little wrinkles and lines. When I put this under it, it's so plumped up and beautiful. It has just something that's very emollient, a little bit sticky to it, but then it, it sinks in and it doesn't look sticky or greasy, but it's just beautiful. It's big, it's really worth it. I love this so much that when I travel, I take some of it out and put it in a tiny little container so I'll always have it with me. 
This is always a must buy for me and it's by Kiehl's. Another thing that is a splurge for me and I only buy it when it's on sale or I'm getting a gift with purchase is this Estee Lauder Night Repair. This is a beautiful product. I've been using this for years. I love it. I use it at night or in the morning when I wanna just give some extra special care to my skin. I put this on and it's just beautiful what it does. It's the best serum. It's just with the dropper. I only use a few drops of this for my whole face, neck, and chest area. And I highly recommend this. This is really a beautiful product. The next thing that I completely finish and I won't be repurchasing, even though I think it's a fantastic hand cream, is this one by L'Occitane. This is the Shea Butter one. I love it. I used it down to the last drop, but I probably won't purchase it because I'm a little bit tired of the scent, I have to say. It has a strong scent. It works very well. It really moisturizes your hands and cuticles. If you don't mind the scent, I recommend this. The next thing is this Alpha Hydroxy 14% Glycolic Acid. I love this. I've been using this for years, but I have stopped now because I bought the First Aid Beauty Radiance Pads for the face, and I love those. I'm almost finished with that, so that's going to be going into my next empties, but I love them so much I ordered another one. One of those one and done things that I do in the morning. I just love the way it really clears up my complexion, and I feel it has really brightened it. So this worked for me for many years, but now it's replaced by the other one. The next thing is this cleanser, which I finished up. This is the Purifying Face Cleanser by Tula. I have to say, I wasn't in love with this. I used it all up. I don't think it's that great for double cleansing. I felt that even when I used this with a washcloth, by the time I would put my toner on, I noticed that there was still some makeup left. So this is nice, but it's not for me, and I won't be repurchasing this one. It also has a bit of a strong scent that I'm not crazy about. The next things I'm gonna show you are just sunscreens that I absolutely love and will repurchase. The first one is this Australian Gold Mineral Lotion, non-greasy. The thing with this is it does tend to be a little bit drying. I only use this on my body. I buy the tinted one, the dark, the darker brown one so that I don't look so pale and then I don't have to be soft tanning all the time. It blends in beautifully. This is UVA and UVB protection. It's all mineral. It goes on beautifully. It covers imperfections, but I don't use it on my face because I do find it drying. And the one that I love for my face and I use every single day is this Coats. I just finished it. The Flawless Complexion, SPF 50. My house is full of windows. There's always sunshine here in Florida or most of the year. And I always put this on in the morning after my vitamin C serum. I put this on. It's beautiful. It, it really doesn't have any coverage, but it's just tinted enough where it does not leave a white cast. It's not thick. It's lightweight and it leaves your skin looking glowy. I love this one, highly recommended. I bought this because Dr. Dre recommended this and you can't go wrong with her recommendations. So this is a good one, also on Amazon. And the last one of the Amazon ones that I purchased that are inexpensive, this one is very inexpensive and very beautiful, the Cerave 30% Sheer Tint. This is so pretty on the skin. It's if you don't like glowy, then this is not for you, but this is very glowy, it's very beautiful. It looks very hydrating when it's on your skin. It tends to be just a little bit sticky at first, and then it kind of dies down when it sinks into your skin. I'm finished with this. I'm gonna get another one because this is what I travel with, because some days I don't wanna put a lot of you know, foundation or whatever if I'm traveling, I'm just doing the sunglasses, a good sunscreen, and a nice lipstick. And this is what I always reach for, and it's so lightweight and easy to travel with. The last two I wanna show you are these. I love this Perlis BB Cream and CC Cream. So I started with this one originally, and the one I bought was too light. This is the light. I should have bought the light medium. I did love that it's SPF 50. It has vitamin C in it. It has hyaluronic acid. I did find this a little bit drying, I have to say, and that's when I would put this underneath it for a really good moisturizer. But also the other one that goes beautifully under it is this, or even the First Aid Repair Cream is beautiful under this. But I found one I like better, and that is the Perlis BB Cream. This is gorgeous, and it's light medium. I'm wearing this whenever I go out. I am made up, and you know, I want my skin to look good. This is all I need. I don't need foundation. This covers 
I have dark spots. I have one here and one here from the sun. I have a few on my chest. I bring this all the way down. This even covers the chest area where I have a few dark spots from the sun. It's beautiful. This is the light medium. I put it on my hands. Even covers like kind of those greeny veins that I've got going or a few little freckles. Compare the hands. It's very pretty. Finish on it is just beautiful. I don't find it as drying as this one, so this is a high recommendation. I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them down below. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I do videos on all my favorite things. I do fashion, I do lifestyle, I do hair and makeup, beauty, all the things that bring me joy, I want to share with you. I love having you as my subscriber and coming here to join me when I've got all these wonderful products to talk about. See you on the next one. Bye now.